Natural rubber latex is a milky fluid found in rubber trees. You can find it in some gloves, balloons, erasers, rubber bands, and even pacifiers. Latex allergy reactions can happen two ways. Immediately, the medical term is type 1 hypersensitivity or delayed, occurring over 12 to 48 hours. The medical term for delayed is type 4 hypersensitivity. Let's talk about the first type, immediate. Symptoms could be hives, itching, swelling, sneezing, runny nose, shortness of breath, chest tightness, to name a few. Any combination of these symptoms can be a sign of anaphylaxis, a life-threatening reaction that needs immediate medical attention. Sidebar, a video about anaphylaxis is coming soon. If you have a delayed reaction, you may get a rash that is red, itchy, has bumps or blisters. This is called contact dermatitis. So how is food related to latex? Latex shares the same proteins that are on foods including bananas, avocados, kiwi, and European chestnuts. These proteins can confuse the immune system and cause an allergic reaction. This phenomenon is also seen in oral allergy syndrome. The other name is pollen food syndrome. When a person that is allergic to latex eats a kiwi, for example, they can have a mild reaction limited to itchiness or swelling of the mouth, face, lip, tongue, and sometimes throat. If the person is highly allergic to latex, the symptoms could include throat swelling that leads to difficulty swallowing or breathing. So how do you manage this? First, see an allergist immunologist like me to get the proper diagnosis. After you've been diagnosed, you must just avoid latex. If you must wear gloves, substitute with vinyl, nitrile, or synthetic latex gloves. Avoidance of foods like banana and avocado that share some proteins with latex should be discussed with your allergist. It all depends on the severity of your latex allergy. This allergy tip is brought to you by myself, Dr. Garen Wolf. Chief Allergy and Immunology Physician of Wolf Allergy and Asthma.